Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Hypermind Vanilla. Uh, I'm here on the front screen because I received a message in Discord that said, Soap, you need to be recording the next time you get onto the server. So, let's take a look. Because I'm at the witch farm, and that was the message. So, uh, next time I'm at the witch farm, record. All right, so we've got some sticks. Looks like nothing this way. You know what? We're going to make this a daytime. Okay. And if we scoot this way, nothing. If we scoot this way, nothing. Oh my. Oh my. Helped out with some diggy diggy hole. Oh my. Oh my. That looks great. <gasps> that looks amazing. <sighs> it's from Twinkles. Okay, so we've had some help. We've had some help. Run Wild has come by to dig. And, uh, who, well, Twinkles has come by to dig too. Oh my. She's a great builder. She's got a base uh, that way, some. And that way, yeah, it's uh, about that way. And, and north. So you go a little bit, a little bit that way, and then go north. She's got a great base. If you're not watching her stuff, I think you should go check that out. Link is in the description box below for her channel. So I'll make sure to try it. Well, remember that, but for sure, she'll be on the Hypermind subreddit. But this is amazing. I love it. I love it. We're gonna keep this for now because this is oh, this is just great, and that is keeping. Well, it's, it's doing some of the the uh, darkening that we need in there. That's great. Oh, I love it. We're going to keep that for, for quite some time. Well, because uh, I've still got some work to do here. And and then we'll, we'll get to the regular build. But not today. That's not what I had planned. I just had to record this clip real quick. So I'm going to go off and get together the resources. We're going to head to Port Hypermine, but I just wanted to show you this. All right. Well, here we are back in Port Hypermine and I'm at my house and I'm looking around for a crafting bench and I realize that I have missed Something very important from this section, the work area of the house. There's no crafting bench. So in proper fashion here on the Hypermind server, we're going to place a leaf where it's not supposed to go. No, 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 that's not it. We're going to put a crafting bench down and then potentially leave it there forever. Yep. So we're going to put one right there because I need to make a chest because my inventory is full of stuff. So let's take care of this and we'll put down the chest and then, all right. Now, what are we doing? Well, we're over here. We're going to do some landscaping today and I need to get rid of things that I don't really need at the moment. We need to work on the base level um, terraforming, if you will. We don't need any of the leaves, any of this decorative stuff. We don't need it quite yet. We need to get to the point where we can actually start working on uh, a, a properly contoured landscape. So uh, something to keep in mind is that when I originally put this together, I was not intending for the cobblestone to be visible the entire time. So we actually need to tear that back some and we're going to hide all of this cobblestone like so and we're just going to take all this out and I think somebody left a torch there because uh, this place was not properly lit up so we're going to pull all of this out we'll leave cobblestone right there because that is the floor for our back door but we're going to come around and just tear all this out and then we're going to bring our uh, up here you know what we'll we'll start filling in like this okay and so we want to cover up all of that cobblestone because it doesn't look good right how about here 
leave cobblestone. We'll see. We'll see what we end up doing. Um, the villagers are going to be a little bit problematic, I think. So we might have to push back our neighbor's boundaries a little bit. We shall see, however. So let's just do this like so. Currently on with Run Wild, who has been taking care of getting rid of the nighttime. But um, it's been kind of a, a mix. So, so I've been taking care of it. He's been taking care of it. But we'll see. Hopefully he manages for now. It's noon, so we shouldn't have too much to worry about. So right now we're covering up all of that. Do pick block. No, no, no. Pick block. There we go. Like so. All right. I think I think that's all hidden, but it still doesn't look good. So, oh, getting some some framiness. No, that doesn't look good at all. Maybe we should work on how we actually access our property from the town. So if we come in here, uh, let's see, Scotty's pathway is off this way and he brings it down like so. What if we brought this a little bit further in like this? No, I don't, that doesn't look so good right there. Uh, what do you think? Okay, and then what we'll do is we'll wait for, uh, wait for this to all grow back in as grass. And we'll see if we can get some more grass growing around it. I do have some grass in my inventory. Maybe we can change that out. Yeah, we'll do that. Because you have to have grass for it to turn into pathways. So we'll, do, we'll just do that. All right, so we've got that going. And then what we need is maybe, maybe something that leads the, the user of my house or me or visitors, whomever, easily up into our front porch. So for the front porch, I know I haven't finished the rest of the terraforming around, but we probably should be thinking about this aspect. Uh, we'll get some of those, maybe get some... Oh, Run Wild has gone. Okay. Did he say goodbye? I have a, I have a hard time catching that sometimes. Okay. Um, maybe... Well, let's see. What do we do? Um, do we use wood for this transition or do we use stone? Let's see what's going to work better. We'll make a little bit of cobblestone slabs and then what we'll do is get some spruce I had spruce there it is yep we'll get some spruce slabs going as well and we'll try a few different things right in here get rid of that we'll need to bring that back here soon anyway let's do that uh, not quite so we'll do this Okay, what do we think? It doesn't quite fit the color scheme and we're chopping off a decent amount of the pathway here. So I don't know if that's gonna work for us. Maybe what we do is uh, wait for that to turn back to grass because I've just ruined it. And then we'll go back just a little bit like so. And maybe we'll get some spruce. Right like that. So I don't really have a design in mind for this. Kind of just winging it right now. And then we'll bring in some some grass right here. So usually with these with these houses, what I've done in the past is I've even done the landscaping off camera in my creative testing world. Not so here, as you may have uh, found. I've got a few different projects going on around the server. Uh, witch farm, iron farm, got a lot of stuff going on. And we uh, well, just haven't had time to take on that particular aspect of building. So we're, we're kind of 
behind the eight ball a little bit, if you will. So let's maybe put in some stairs here. I think that's a decent, a decent welcoming entrance into the house. And then maybe what we do is go in and get rid of the night. Yes, we're going to leave the front door open, but we'll come up here real quick. We'll see if any, there are no villagers hanging out. Let's just go into one of the bedrooms and get rid of the nighttime. Okay. And then we'll go back downstairs and see what we can get into. Uh, just make sure that our front porch is fine. And I don't know. It's not, again, we can't go for too fancy because this is not really a very fancy house. It's not supposed to be fancy. It's supposed to be middle class maybe. So we can't go too ornate. I did bring some quartz along, but I don't think that's going to fit so well with our build. What if we just brought some more cobble in like that? And I know, I know you're not supposed to build with cobble, but that's not too shabby. Hmm. And then maybe we could put some stairs on that, some cobble stairs. And we'll see what that does. It gives four. That's enough for now. Like that. And like that. And that doesn't make so much sense um, on this piece right here. So maybe we'll chop that up. And... We did that and brought in a piece of grass right here. Like that? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see by the, the end of this. Let's put all this in and then we'll come in with the pathway like that. Yes, it is rather. Oops. Well, it's rather straight. It's not doing much in the way of changing up the pattern, but I think that's fine for now. And then maybe what we do underneath there is a little bit of... No, you know what? We'll, we'll do some cobble under there. Notice how with these path blocks, you can see right there. That's not good. So we're going to put something in like that. See how that goes. I think that's all right. And we'll just continue the look over there. That's fine. Okay. And then maybe it's time to get into some more believable contours around the house. So we're just going to do this. Maybe we'll bring it out some right like that. Um, and of course this allows zombies to get in which is not very good. Not good at all. What is this guy doing? He's trying, oh, he's trying to get to the potatoes, I bet. Hmm, yeah, we definitely don't want zombies getting to these guys, so we should probably limit access to that. It is our villager breeder after all. So, hmm, I would feel really bad if, if something happened to them. So I move this fence back and we have a little bit more room over here. I've cut back the hill on this side and we've got a decent, decent contour all the way around the house. Maybe a little bit more. I mean, this is, this is tough right here because we've got a rather sharp curve all the way around this little ravine area. Maybe eventually what we can do is when we put in that patio or deck area, almost like what Vance Crafter has going over there, overlooking this this river, we can maybe dig the river back some. Ooh, little voice crack there. Probably need to take a drink of water. But um, yeah, we can push back the a little retaining wall or something. But uh, before we really get into that, I probably should have done this when we were uh, off camera, but let's just take care of this again. The reason why I am worried about sleeping at night is not because I'm worried about mobs getting to me. It's because we tend to get zombie sieges here in Port Hypermine because of all the villagers. So 
want to avoid that. Now, next order of business is we need to get some greenery around here. See, Kondrick has some bushes around the stables. We've got uh, none around the villager housing so much. These guys are just going around staring at the ground. Hmm. What are you doing? He's probably wanting to trade with one of those guys. But, um, but yeah, we need to get some bushes over here. And, you know, usually you'd have them maybe out front. Okay. A little something right there. And, and yeah, what we want is kind of a cottage garden type feel. Because this is kind of an old cottage. So I've got some flowers here. And we'll put some of those out. Kind of the same, yeah, we've got some, not there, but I haven't done much collecting in terms of the flowers around here. Maybe, maybe get some of that, maybe some like that. Kind of an overgrown feel, right? Just because, you know, we want to make that, or give the impression that this house has been here for quite some time. We've had people living here for quite some time. And so we'll just come around and put some greenery, kind of growing up the, the side and back a little bit. Yeah, definitely back here, Out, outside of the kitchen. Yeah, we definitely want some of that. Some more. Yeah, yeah, I think this is good. And what we're going to do underneath all of this is put some lighting. We're going to use glowstone right here and that should remove a need for torches uh, hopefully because torches can get rather annoying to have all over your build They're kind of unsightly so what we'll probably do is load up a uh, there's a client side mod that you can get that shows you the light levels I think it's been updated to 1.10 I could be mistaken on that but we'll try and get that sorted out in here soon so did I drop okay we'll just put that there and like so and we'll do that around here as well maybe we'll put one here and then we'll put another bush right there and then we can take out those that's good very good very good all right so we'll put another light here again there's no I mean there is a bit of science in involved in making sure you've got the right light levels but in terms of how to place these bushes not so much not so much so what we're going to do is just put another one there and right there like that oh i didn't mean to do that but i wasn't paying too much attention so we'll go right there um up front i think we can do yeah we can put torches on the front that's fine we'll probably bring in some some uh, what are those item frames behind those just to make it look like it's being held on the wall oh we're missing missing some bushes here like that oh yeah that would be nice maybe maybe one right there kind of poking out a bit like that okay and then we'll spam some of these flowers around i really like the orchids so we'll make sure we keep some of these around and then Maybe, just maybe, uh, you know, I would, you know what we need? We need some bone meal, okay? And I don't have any with me at the moment, so maybe what we do is let this kind of congeal a bit in our minds, and then I'll go get some bone meal, and then we'll see about bringing in some grass, tall grass, and various things like that, and that should help really complete the look. All right, back in a bit. Well, I've looked at the time, so I figured oh, we're probably approaching about 20 minutes. So what I did is I just went ahead and took care of the rest of this off camera. So let's just take a look. You can see I brought in some bone meal. I had to go out to the witch farm. I had some out there. So yeah, it's just kind of almost spamming it, but not quite. Uh, trimming it back some, making some of them too high. Again, there's no necessary, necessary rhyme or reason to all of this. And it's nighttime again. But, uh, but yeah, so uh, we've got too high in some places. And a little nod to the running joke here on the server that we leave crafting benches all over the place. And I didn't, I didn't want any dandelions out here. Just want 
What are those? I don't know. I'm used to, I've been playing a lot of modded lately, and so I'm used to seeing what that is in the top of the screen. It's Azure Bluette, I think. But um, anyway, the other thing of note here is the front. I did go get some item frames, and then I've put a smooth stone block in there, ha slab, actually, to kind of make it look like the torches are being held on. We might want to do that on the back door as well, but that's all I'm going to have time for in this episode. So, uh, so yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, a like is always appreciated. If it has inspired you for your own built, do send me a screenshot. I'd love to see them either here. Well, send me a link down below. You got to watch out for that. YouTube might flag it as a spam link. So uh, Twitter might be better at MC Soap the Great. So feel free to hit me up there. But I would love to see screenshots of what you're working on. So. So send those on my way. But um, anyway, if you haven't done so already, think about subscribing. It doesn't cost you a dime. And to make sure that you're up to date with everything going on on the channel. But as for me, this has been Soap the Great here on the Hypermine Vanilla Season 3 server. And that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.